Let's take a quick look at Intel's Core i5-6600, the newer Skylake processor and compare it with the older i7-4790, the older Haswell processor launched a year ago. From now, when I'm making this video in the third quarter of 2015, it's October 4th, 2015 and this processor Skylake was launched in August, so not far from the launch. We have some benchmark data available and we'll review and Mm, I'll give you a commentary on this, but before that, let's take a look at what drives the difference between these two. The first, of course, the Skylake is a newer processor, and we have a better architecture for the same clock frequency. We should get slightly better performance, but it has been told in numerous places. Reviewers have agreed that Skylake does not bring any substantial performance improvement but we'll come to that later let's take a look at what are the other basic difference between these particular processors the Skylake uh, 6600 has i5-6600 has 6 MB of cache the i7-4790 has 2 MB of 8 MB of smart cache that's extra 2 MB and that makes a significant amount of difference uh, other major difference is the support for the hyper threading. This Haswell support the hyper threading, which the one two threads can run in parallel on a given core, and it tries to exploit the idle uh, situation in the processor, and that drives up the performance by about 15 to 18 percent. In terms of the clock frequency we see the Haswell it inches ahead by 300 megahertz in base clock frequency and 100 megahertz in turbo clock frequency so these three things work in favor of Haswell and Skylake even though it's a newer processor architecture which does not bring any substantial improvement in performance for a given clock and everything keeping the same we have the Haswell at substantially faster than the i5-6600 and let's confirm it by looking at the past market score. We have this older i7-4790 sitting at 10,042 versus uh, i5-6600 at 7383. That's about 25 to 20, 30 percent performance improvement of in favor of uh, as well. So with this figure in my mind, let's take a look at some of the other things that makes these two processors different. And one of them is the integrated graphics. The Skylake comes with a newer and better HD Graphics 530 versus HD Graphics 4600. And not sub no substantial difference between these improvement in HD Graphics 530, but it's still slightly better. The DDR4, that's the new thing in Skylake. It works at lower 1.2 volt and that saves you some power with respect to the DDR3 working at 1.5 volt. We don't see any performance improvement because of the DDR3, DDR4 with respect to DDR3. So these are some of the other basic differences between these two processors. We now have a support for higher display resolution in a Skylack that should be very good for if you are looking for a 4K type of resolution. Thanks for taking a look and if you have any comment just put it in the comment section below.